kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. So, guys, uh, I am making this video after a very long time because uh, my channel got a copyright strike. So, I am back once again. And so, guys, in this video, I am going to teach you how to create a beautiful uh, navigation drawer in your Android applications. All right. So, in this video, I will be showing you first of all the demo and then we will create the project and i will show you how you can also embed uh, such cool and beautiful navigation drives in your android applications all right so here we will ha create our new project and in the meanwhile i as i already have connected uh, my device with it so i show you the demo so first of all here let's open the app and yes here it is no sorry here okay so this is the custom navigation drive so if i press here so you can see this is the animation which is included in this so here the news is selected and if i click on feed so you can see feed selected and if i select messages then you can see the messages are selected and if i select music so you can see music is selected okay so i will teach you how you can create such type of app so let's get started so first of all what you can do is we need to include the github library and we need to add the dependencies so we can say implementation and here write com dot github dot sh Nine eight, and here is custom navigation drawer version zero point zero point one. All right, and after that, we need to add the Maven dependency here. So for that, we can. Uh, add the dependency so you need to go to your build.gradle and here write maven and inside that you can write jtpack.io all right now you need to click on sync now and after it is synchronized uh, successfully now we need to first of all go to our main activity that we have it and here we will initialize the view so let's go to main activity and first of all remove the constant layout to relative layout and remove the text view from there and here let's have the s navigation drawer and let's set the width to match parent and also the height to match parent and let's set the id to navigation drawer all right so inside this navigation drive we will have a frame layout so there we can say we have this uh, frame layout and here it will be match parent match parent and id will be frame layout all right so now we need to go to our main activity dot java file and inside there we will have some we need to uh, include and we need to bind the view so first of all we as we have s navigation right and we name it as s navigation and then we need a class that will be fragment class and then we need a public static fragment and we name it as fragment and make sure that you select this version 4 dot app all right then we inside our own create method we can simply say s navigation drawer equal to find view by id r dot id dot navigation drawer 
and then we okay so now we need to add the menu so here we can say menu addition add so for that we can first of all have a list and we can say it is of type menu item and make sure that you select this menu item okay this will be the menu item and then you can say menu items equal to new array list so here we will have a menu items array list and then we will add them so we can say menu item dot add and here we will have new menu item and inside this we will first of all uh, specify the title and then the image so here we have uh, let's say we have news and then we will sorry then we will have the image so for that we can say r dot mipmap dot ic launcher you can specify any image you want from your variables okay then again we can say dot add new menu item then we can say the it will be feed then we can simply say i dot all right and similarly i will just copy for all the five okay for one okay so here feed then we will have messages and finally we will have music all right so after we have all these menu items then we need to set them so for that we can say uh, as navigation drawer dot set menu item list and here we will provide our menu items and then we can say fragment class equal to news fragment dot this okay so now we need to add some fragments so first of all so for in order to add the fragment so you can say java class and you will create a new class that will be news fragment and click ok and then you will extend it with fragments and then we, here we will have on create view and inside this so we can specify the layout so for that what we can do here instead of uh, returning this we can say view view equal to inflator dot inflate so before that let's have a layout so here we can say fragment news and click ok and then we can inside this we can say r dot layout dot fragment news then we can say container and then false all right then we will return this view and now here we as you can see we have this then there is an error so let's see why is there an error okay instead of this we will use this class all right and then we can simply say frag sorry fragment equal to and we can uh, type cast it and there we can say fragment class dot new instance all right that is the way of initializing our fragment and it, it is saying that we need to add the try catch block so we will surround it, it and then here we can check if fragment sorry if fragment is not equal to null then we can say fragment manager fragment manager and we can say get spot fragment manager all right and then we can say fragment manager dot begin transaction and we can say dot set custom animations and inside this we can specify some animations so for the animation we can say android dot r dot anim animator dot fade in 
and then we will have and sorry let's have it in our next class so we can say android dot r dot animated dot fade out sorry my android studio got stuck yes it is back now and then we can simply say dot replace and we can say r dot id dot frame layout i don't know why my android studio is getting stuck here uh fragment frame layout and then we can specify our fragment and then we finally can say commit all right so that's how we specify the animator and now we need to handle the on click events of our menu item click okay so what we can do okay so instead of these things i will do that later so if uh, let's set the droid listener so let's say s navigation droid dot set droid listener and we can say new as droid listener and inside that listener what we can do inside our own droid closing yes okay so here we can uh, say fragment equal to fragment and then we can say fragment class dot new instance and it also needs it to surround it with try catch block and similarly it's the same and we can check if it is uh, not equal to fragment is not null then we do that again and that's it and after that okay so here we can handle our, our uh, click event so for that okay so guys if you want to uh, learn more about this library so i will uh, uh, give you the description i mean i will give you the link of the library and the github link so you can just go there and uh, explore the library so guys if you like that so let's just run the app so that i show you at the end So at the end you will see that we will have all these uh, menu items and upon clicking on them since, since we did not add the click events so here you will see that this is the animation of fade in and fade out so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you goodbye okay so here you can see we have this so if you want to uh, remove this toolbar so you just need to go to your values then go to styles and instead of this dark action bar you can specify no action bar alright so